Okay, assalamualaikum and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Uh, welcome to your next part of the lecture. So, in this particular uh, chapter, we're gonna discuss what is TU and what does it, uh, why does it exist, and in what way, in the capacity of law, does it exist? Yeah. So let's move on. So, in order for for you guys to understand this, you need to get okay a trade union act malaysia okay malaysia's trade union act so you can just pause this video now and google it right now make sure that it is it is malaysian okay because there's always other acts out there that are not malaysian so make sure you get malaysian trade union act first okay so because there are a lot of sections that you have to refer into so you just pause now and google google uh, trade union acts malaysia yeah so let's take a look at here yeah uh if you want to be specific if you want to be uh, very clear when you google you can google trade union acts 1959 yeah okay so these are trade unions and uh, what it entails in industrial relations so let's move on towards the definition here so under the tua trade union act okay so we're going to call trade union act as tua just for uh, to, to make it short and simple under section 2 it is defined exactly like this yeah so if you have your tua with, with you you may take a look and refer towards it sometimes so the, it is stated here that it is any association or combination of workmen or employers whose workplace in west malaysia sabah sarawak as the case may be or employers or employing workmen in malaysia sabah sarawak as the case may be okay within any particular est establishment trade occupation or industry or within similar trades occupation or industries and whether temporary or permanent okay so I mean to say that these members okay uh, they are part of an organization and they are representing workers okay so let's take a look at implication of the definition so this mean to say that through the definition it warrants uh, implication means today what are the effects towards that kind of definition how would people view uh, trade unions from the definition so number one is that names that not, not necessarily called union okay some known as association so if you want to name your trade union okay you can use other other names such as uh, association of workers for blah 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 uh, because usually people think when they apply to uh, to make trade unions they have to put union at the back of their the name of their organization for instance uh, work uh, estate employees union yeah so you can choose to name it association if you want to yeah second here is membership limited geographically what does it mean limited geographically because it is only focused on the three main areas here in Malaysia which is uh, West Malaysia West Malaysia refers towards uh, the peninsula KL and every other states there in West Malaysia and then we have the East Malaysia East Malaysia is uh, is separated between the two okay the two uh, the two the two states which is Sabah and Sarawak so each of these states each of these geographical location cannot be combined cannot be uh, the, the trade unions that are in there cannot be combined with any from the states for, for instance if there's a trade union in Sarawak it couldn't combine with trade unions with in Sabah or if you want to find members in the peninsula you cannot do that in West Malaysia uh, if you if you are making a trade union and you need to find members those members are only confined from where that trade union is from for instance if your trade unions is from Sabah then all the members are only uh, from Sabah doesn't mean that they're Sabahans though yeah but they are working in Sabah okay or in Sarawak or in West Malaysia yeah so that's a as you can take a look at the definition here yeah so membership limited geographically so if you're trade uh, if you are uh, a trade union members in Sabah you cannot suddenly join a person uh, another trade union in uh, Sarawak or West Malaysia nature of union union in general nature not permitted mean to say you cannot uh, combine in any association if you want I mean, so in the past remember in the uh, previous chapter uh, previous discussion they usually in the past they combine any other workers from any other industry but nowadays you cannot you couldn't you uh, you cannot you cannot make an, a union that combines everyone from different group it needs to be specific right to join union both employees and employers can join union so uh, always a misconception that people have or even students uh, think 
yeah they cannot join a trade union if they are employers but no employers also have their own trade unions so those are examples of trade union, uh, employers trade union can be discussed by a later part of the chapter yeah so both of them can join TU because they are separate doesn't mean that the employer are joining the employees trade union but rather the employers are making their own trade union Responsibilities any organization or groups of workers established to achieve one or more objectives stated in the act is considered having formed to you and must conform to legislative requirements. So I think that's quite clear, yeah. So this is the objective of TU. What what does it uh, what does it intend to achieve? Why was it established? So number one is in terms of to protect the interests of its members yeah what the definition of interest here uh, could uh, could vary and could mean many a lot of things yeah so you for instance wages uh, work environment uh, the benefits the bonuses that they will get all of those are in order to make that their their, their working condition is much better so the, the interest here could be uh, var varies from workers to workers yeah second is to regulate the relationship between employees and employers yeah regulate mean to say that they they put some kind of regulation towards it means uh, when they want to discuss they need to follow certain law or certain acts that they can refer to so before this without the act if they want to negotiate they can just do whatever they want so through this act through uh, TU they can have proper channel proper processes in order to discuss to conduct CB with uh, with employees in views to conclude with a CA yeah okay so CB and CA will also be covered in later chapter yeah but basically don't forget about it when you come back here later when you want to revise yeah so you if you have your notes there please uh you please circle it in red uh, put jot down there it's important yeah to represent the employees in TD, TD with employer disciplinary matters means to say that any disciplinary issues that occurs within the organization that is a member of the uh, the TU they can try to try to represent the employees try to help them out to negotiate what exactly is going on try and and to find a proper solution the, the fourth one to represent the employees in ICLC so the the TUE will be the one who are helping out to represent them when when there are issues in the industrial court or the labor court so it, I think it's really straight cut yeah to undertake activities as promote social recreational and cultural activities among its members means to say they're trying to develop their own culture they're trying to make a, a, a better connection between the employees creating motivation creating uh, solidarity being friends so that they know that they're when they're employees they're in the same boat so they're they're entitled to be, to have social companionship amongst themselves and six one to promote or organize and legitimate industrial action including strikes subject to provision of TUA. So strikes, uh, okay. I think you know what is strike in Malay, right? Strike refers to what? Mogok. So I think you're very familiar with the term mogok. You you see it all the time. You use it all the time. Okay. So this strike, uh, it, when it's done, it needs to be lawfully done. If it's done illegally, then people can take action towards the trade union. So if you're on a strike, you need to follow the steps on what are the states what are those steps it will cover in the next chapters yeah so reasons joining to you so this is the reason these are the reasons of joining to you why do you want to join to you for instance some of you um, I think you might have been working before uh, with different organization or st still working in that organization there will be some people asking you to uh, why don't you join trade union okay or for maybe some of you are not familiar with trade unions at all yeah so when you say uh, you're not familiar there's no one there's no one pushing for union unionism in the organization so you're, you're not really familiar what is a trade union so this is reasons why trade unions were established and why people why workers want to join in to be uh, members so number one, I think it's very, uh, I think it's very, very clear yeah, for economic motive, for economic reasons. So you can see that Donald Duck is counting his money. So when you read here, economic sometimes related towards how they get their compensation from the company, better salary, better benefits that could help them. If your employee, sorry, if your employer is doing well and they have achieved a lot of uh, 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 income from the 
past few years so it is reasonable for the workers to have a raise in their salary so those are the things that the trade union try to fight for yeah so improve workers terms and condition of service pay and benefits what whatever that is lacking there they need uh, they are trying to fight for it uh, if it is lacking or to improve whatever is in existence individual worker has limited bargaining power compared with employer improve term and condition through the process of cb because you focus here in the second one here it talks about individuality so if it's only you discussing with the organization they will not care about it you they, they will not care about you they would uh, they will only care uh, if you uh, and concern majoritally majoritally if you are uh, in a group collective I means so there's a lot of uh, people backing you up there's not only one of you so if there's only one of you uh, asking for a raise then that's probably not enough pressure but if the majority of the workers are pushing the organization to have better wages then perhaps they could finally uh, succumb towards the demand yeah so these are the economic motive towards joining trade unions reasons joining trade union two protection of rights yeah worker expect unions to protect them against discrimination by the employer for instance protect against racial barriers unfair treatment of favoritism one of the most important rights protect job security for workers so all of these are reasons sometimes when you are uh, what do you say uh, discriminated at work you, you you don't know your rights so when they fire you you can you just follow through but according to our law according to the legislation that we have for workers uh, if they if the organization fired you or acted uh, differently upon you then the t you can help you can help you to figure out a solution towards this a compensation perhaps a way of tackling the issues with the employer so the trade union will be the platform for people to uh, for the workers to understand what exactly is going on so this is a protection of rights if you are, if you think they are doing things bad things towards you discriminating you therefore the trade union will help you to uh, to protect your rights by making you aware of what's going on and how to get back towards uh, towards uh, the issue third one social reasons to show solidarity with fellow workers it is due to satisfy a social need some workers join union because they believe they have the attributes of leader and exercise leadership quality so it's social reason you want to be a part of other people so sometimes uh, when you go to work you don't really socialize you just uh, probably with uh, with labor workers you just clock in at 8 at a.m. and then you just leave at five you you did not you did not have that communication with your other friends so certain times you want to be part you want to be friends with people who are in the same boat with you who who shares the the view the world the same world view as you I mean to say that they take a look at situation together okay so for instance you you couldn't you uh, people working as labor workers would have a hard time di discussing work matters with people in the top management therefore through trade unions they can uh, uh, discuss what is going on because they are parallel in understanding of where they are from wh where they are heading yeah so those are social reasons to be uh, to have uh, good uh, social bonding uh, satisfy social need uh, those are social bonding as well and some worker join because they have uh, attributes to become leaders I mean to say that these people these workers have the potential to be leaders and the way they want to show it is through this trade union this is uh, the, the second uh, the, the next part of the lecture yeah creating a non-union environment I means uh, a non-union refers towards uh, uh, an environment that union doesn't need to exist yeah so you think that uh, you might think oh that's bad that's but that's always bad but no not, not necessarily because well you have to understand why union exists in the first place because there there's dissatisfaction from the workers they're not happy what they're they're, they're being given so this environment usually uh, arose because people are dissatisfied but a non-union environment means to say that the people the workers has no need to complain about they are not satisfied uh, they're not dissatisfied all of the workers are satisfied with their work with their salary and their environment everybody everyone is happy so when everyone is happy why do you want union in the first uh, in the first place yeah so this is this uh, the the reason why it is creating a non-union environment so don't don't focus on much of making it into uh, such a negative view 
yeah so some of this you can read it here some companies are proactive in their attempts to prevent their workers from joining TU the positive yeah the positive steps is not negative step huh? the positive steps to reduce or eliminate the need of workers to join TU such as pay higher wages yeah with higher wages you will be happier better benefits involve employees in all decision making uh, offer training development and measure of security of tenor and develop climate sorry uh okay i'm gone <laughs> develop climate of trust and loyalty in the organization yeah so uh let me just zoom out okay develop climate of trust and loyalty in the organization so those are way of creating a non-union environment positive steps yeah this is positive step types of unions unions in malaysia may be categorized as follows public sector employees unions private sector employee unions and employers union so uh, we have touched on public public sectors on our previous slide so you can go on there and read it on your own or the uh, hear me talk some of it but if you are not clear on that you just contact me okay so these are types of unions let's take a look at the few, uh, few ones here so this is a type of unions in malaysia you have tu employees union and employers union uh, remember geographically they are different so you have peninsula malaysia you have sabah and sarawak and you have the government sector you have statutory bodies and private sectors so it's always with the same uh, industry you cannot combine with any other industry that uh, has different workers public sector okay so we're going to go towards the public sector first workers in the same ministry department occupation are involved in cb okay no, i mean to say they cannot negotiate uh, okay wages and other terms of services are discussed at national level between government and qpax yeah example so you can take a look at you take a look at here NUTP, which is a teaching profession for teachers, so it has a lot of uh, more than 100,000 members here. Malayan, New, Malayan New Nurses Union, 14,000 members. So you can take a look at the name and you can guess, you can tell me from what geographical section they, they are from. Yeah, they are from Malaya. I mean to say they are, they are not Sabah, they are not Sarawak, this is just nurses from uh, West Malaysia. So that was public sector. Now we move on towards uh, the private sector employees union. So divided into national in house, national and in house. So public sector does not have this. This is only for private sector employees unions. Okay, private sector, public sector doesn't exist. Things like this doesn't exist. This only exists in private sector. So example here, the uh, national union of plantation workers, national union of commercial workers so the word there the word then in front national means that, that is the type of organization that they have so national union here you can take a look at covers all workers in the same industry trade or occupation so these are uh, means to say this plantation of workers it covers uh, uh, all all over all over all over the geographical re uh, places mean to say that but still they cannot combine with other states or other geographical lo location Larger unions have sophisticated structure with regional branches and local plant committees. Size of membership depends on number of potential members and degrees of success of union officers in persuading the potential members to join union. So yeah, so it, those are the considerations that you have to take a look when we are talking about the the employees uh, who are who wants to join or who already are part of private sector in national union. Uh, next one is in house member are all employed by the same employer for example you can take a look example here is really clear malaysian airline employees union telecom Berhad employees union so this union is specific towards their own organization only okay for instance you can take a look at this if a worker union uh, uh, from suddenly uh, maxis for instance wants to join telecom they cannot okay because it is specifically in-house only for workers of telecom okay uh, or asia or workers wants to join mass they cannot because mass airline per union is an in-house one that is specific for uh, mass itself so this is what we call in-house specific organization advantages are um, uh, of in-house union so 
Number one is most likely to be appreciative of the situation in their place of employment and problems in the employer because they are closer. You know each other, so you know what's going on. So you'll be much more understanding what uh, what's going on around. So when there's an issue, or oh, there's only uh, there's only you both that can solve this. Okay, just like this is what we say like um, a marriage. When you are, if a husband and wife, a husband and wife are having issues. Should you call your uh, what do you call uh, neighbors to come in and join and uh, try to solve the problem with you? Some people don't want that. Yeah, some people do not want that. They want to solve it by themselves. So this is advantages of in-house union. Less influenced by outsiders and in resolving IR issues at the workplace. Yeah, so this is it's the same thing. Closer relationship between employer and the union lead to peaceful IR. Cooperative spirit will lead to higher productivity because people want to cooperate together so they know each other so they are much more motivated to work together because they have the same mind state, they have the same culture. Yeah. Disadvantages. So uh, uh, just now we were talking about advantages. Now these are the disadvantages. Membership is limited and confined to workers in one particular company. Yeah, clear. Possibility of the employer trying to exploit the union leader, meaning to say that because they know each other, they know what their weakness, what are their strength, so they can exploit them. Sometimes, if 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 the company is so bad, perhaps they can even bribe this uh, this union leaders. Union financial strength low as compared to national union because uh, because you only have a limited amount of members, so people couldn't give you uh, the fees to join the organization, so you don't have your lack of money or capital. Fear of victimization among union leaders because you, they know that you are working uh, in the company, so they can target you. For instance, transfer you somewhere else, or ask uh, ask you to do a lot of hard work, so that you will be stressed or you don't know what to do next. So you won't be involved in union. Yeah. Small membership unable to provide scholarship and other social benefit. Yeah, exactly. Employers union. So just now it was the employees. Now employees union members must be from the same trade, industry, or occupation. This is it's the same thing, but uh, for employers, but they cannot be from the same trade. Objective to promote and protect interests of members. And who are the members? The employers, Majikan. Okay. To negotiate and deal with employees trade union to represent in TD. Okay. Example here. Example, you can take a look at Malayan Agriculture Producers Association, MAPA, Malayan Commercial Bank Association, Association of Insurance Employers. So, all of this, uh, especially two, it's specified, uh, specified towards Malayan. Meaning to say that uh, it is West Malaysian. Yeah? So, these are for the public sector. You have CUPEX. Okay? CUPEX stands for Congress of Unions of Employers in the Public, sorry, Employees in the Public and Civil Services in Malaysia. Yeah? Federation of Trade Unions of Government Workers, Spokesman for the Public Service Workers. Objective here to promote and uh, uh, the interstand improve uh, the working of its officially affiliate trade union to protect the interests of the affiliate trade unions and their members to endeavor to improve the condition of employment of the members and to promote legislation affecting the interests of the members yeah uh, here the 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 wording here interest and okay it's not it's not a different word so make sure you put a space here okay to promote the interest and improve okay Uh, this is a uh, MTUC, a federation of uh, UTU and registered under the Societies Act. The union affiliated to MTUC represent all major industrial sectors with approximately 500, that's 500,000, yeah, about so a half a million. So objective here, I think you can read it on your own. Yeah, it's really clear. Malayan F Employers Federation. So. Uh, this is also a federation for the uh, imp for employers. Same thing here. I think the objective is also quite clear. So you can use all of this union and federation as an example. So I think that is all under this particular uh, chapter. Or, so I hope that you guys are able to understand and cope. So but don't, don't worry if you think that uh, the explanation was too short or uh, wasn't clear. Do not hesitate to contact me. Huh? Yeah, so as always, uh, most students when they take a look at the video, they probably missed out a lot of things. Uh, the the contexts. So it is important if you are not clear, you need to 
contact me yeah so i hope to see you guys and hopefully we someday we can be together in class again yeah okay that's all good night good morning